As numerous countries around the world raced to impose fascist-style lockdowns, one country refused. That is not to say that Sweden did not impose restrictions to fight COVID-19, but the Swedish approach was largely voluntary and far more in line with what you would expect in a free and democratic country. Sweden did implement some laws, such as banning gatherings of more than 50 people, restricting visits to care homes, and restaurants and bars only allowed to provide table service. Actions such as good hygiene, working from home, and avoiding public transport were also encouraged. Yet no mandatory lockdown was imposed, gyms, restaurants and bars were kept open, and young children have been going to school all through the pandemic. Furthermore, Sweden has not forced citizens to wear face masks, with face masks not even recommended in many instances. The man at the centre of this strategy is Anders Tegnell, Sweden's state epidemiologist. One of the core reasons why Sweden decided to take a more voluntary approach to fighting COVID-19 was in an attempt to make it more sustainable. Instead of constant head-spinning law changes as seen in many other countries, Sweden's rules have been relatively consistent so far and are predicted to remain consistent in the following months unless anything major changes. Another important reason why Sweden took this path was because officials decided early in the pandemic to take an evidence-based approach to tackling COVID and they felt that other countries were imposing restrictions at a time when there was little scientific proof that these measures actually worked. Yet, was their strategy a success? 